Okay, I will be failing in my duty if I do not welcome Dr. Titus. Sir, we welcome you, sir. Now, I feel great pleasure in introducing the chief guest amidst this gathering. Dr. Titus Samuel Sudhadar Raju is a dynamic professor. He is, a well, he is well known in Tamil Nadu schools and colleges for his skill sets and teaching pedagogy. He, his dramatic presentation of concept are most popular among students returning. He has contributed his knowledge towards nanomaterial science research and has published articles in reputed Scopus journals. He has authored few books too. Apart from his academics, he is a well-known public speaker. He has conducted soft skill training program at several institutions and corporates. He has also delivered talk in many webinars and web TV shows. Dr. Titus started his career as an injection molding machine operator in the year 2003. Later, from 2005 onwards, he has started his career as senior lecturer, the noble profession of teaching. Dr. Titus has contributed online content development for KG2 grade 12. He is currently holding the post as assistant professor in the Department of Physics at Sri Sairam Engineering College, Tabaram. He is holding prestigious posts in several trusts organizations and institutions at various levels. He, he is having five years of industrial experience and 13 plus years of teaching experience. He is sound with soft skills, technical skills and research skills. He has participated and presented papers in various state, national and uh, international conferences, seminars and workshops. We are grateful and lucky enough to have such an eminent speaker with us today. We welcome you, sir. Now the platform is yours, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for the brief introduction about myself. I think my audio is... Uh, you are able to listen my audio? Okay. So first of all, I would like to uh, uh, bring a, a warm greeting to all the participants of uh, today's webinar on uh, future skills for post-COVID. And I bring greetings from Sri Sairam Engineering College and Joy Academy Tamram to Mr. B.S.A. Aris Buhari Rahman, Chancellor of uh, Crescent University. And also I bring greetings to Pro-Chancellor Mr. Ab Abdul Quader Abdul Rahman Buhari, uh, uh, a Pro-Chancellor of uh, Crescent University, a respected uh, uh, Pro-Vice-Chancellor Dr. A. Uh, B. Mohammed and uh, respected registrar Dr. Hey Azad, I bring warm greetings to you, sir. And the convener of uh, today's uh, webinar, uh, Dean of School, uh, Dean School of Science, Social Science and Humanities, Dr. Mm -hmm. Ayub Khan Daud, and coordinator, Dr. Radhika Nehanadan, Madam, and also uh, the MC, Madam, uh, Dr. Nirmala, and also Kohila, uh, Madam. Uh, very warm greetings and uh, very good morning to all the participants and student friends and so many faculty members have joined uh, in this webinar. So I welcome you all to this session. I hope, uh, uh, as stated in the uh, title, you are going to learn so many things new to... Uh, I promise you that. So let's move on to the slides. I guess uh, I'll move on to the presentation now. As you see, it's an essential future skill on the title, right? So what are essential in, in forthcoming... Uh, you know, uh, days that we have to look into seriously. Uh, to start with, I have to ask a few questions. Uh, the question is about uh, this thing, you know, what, what we have learned from this situation, present situation, and what we have been taught by the situation. These two questions will give us self-examination or maybe self-awareness about ourselves, where we are exactly, whether we have to shift or transform or augment ourselves or equip ourselves, all that, you know, whatever the answer that you get for all the questions, it will be, you know, will be there in the, in, you know, in the, in the sense. Um, I hope you all understand the questions properly. Somebody can give you an answer through chat. What we learned in this present situation, you can give your answers through chat. Chat box is available. 
so if any person what we have been informed or what what, what we have learned from the current situation participants can actively participate in chatting okay don't depend on the country very just keep the northern madam has said uh, don't uh, don't depend on the country okay any other question any e learning okay e learning so hila madam very good e learning some other answer if you have you can share okay so let's see this question have lot of answers variety of answer actually as uh, madam said e learning health is well and uh, madam um, money more and money i said uh, uh, health is well don't depend on country many things and apart from that we have also learned what is lockdown and how to work from home and what is quarantine i hope uh, because of this covid only many guys you know as an youngster they come to know the word of quarantine before that they were never thought of that but after coming you know to this situation people are aware of uh, what is quarantine you know being uh, isolate from everybody not only from the society it's also from the family members and relatives okay insecurity joseph sir said insecurity okay so many uh, that's what this question has variety of answer this question is particularly giving thoughtful you know uh, uh, ideas now you will come up with a creative uh, you know answers every time because every people and their experience are different so different on their situations every day they go ahead right so that's what so it's, it's talk about quarantine it's talk about lockdown it's talk about work from home you know hygienic health is wealth e learning all blah blah that stuff that stuff goes on so do we learn only these things only these things you know from that you know when you cough or sneeze you have to keep a clutch and you should not give hand shake you know all the stuff is it enough to learn from this story from the situation if you ask the question the question says you know actually the answer is not enough this is not enough actually you know it's about personal hygiene you know you have to keep hygiene you know when you go out when you move with people when you have interaction with people what is the social distancing that you have to keep all that stuff it, it, it has already taught to us so is that enough you know it is for survival everybody can say these are all basic and the essential thing that we have to adapt but moreover we have lot of things to learn so that's the uh, good uh, about uh, today's things the world has already changing we have not uh, accepted the change of the world and uh, say for example i will just give a small example about a uh, today situation and present situation many institutions and many many companies they refuse to accept technology to point to uh, what i mean is actually many institutions you know ask the students or the employee to not to bring their own laptop to the company because of uh, insecurity as a uh, child already one participant said security insecurity in data company data right and many institutions say that people will use uh, the gadgets you know the technology in a different way therefore that will be disturbing the system and they start and refusing and there are strict rules in certain companies they should not bring pen drive they should not bring uh, any cd or a personal laptop even uh, when i was working in a company at near at parangudi we were forced to do keep deposit our cell phone before going into the office while finishing the duty you can get the cell phone from them but now the situation i think you are able to understand what i try to say now the situation is you could work at any time and anywhere it could be your home it could be your restaurant or maybe out wherever so you have to manage yourself where you are going to operate so even once google said google employees should not use apple phone when they are coming for home but the thing is later they realized that to want to, if you want to know the technology of your you know competitor you must to use those gadgets then only you will know come to know what are the advancements they are going ahead so it was a blind decision taken by the google about couple of years back about 5 to 10 years back then they resolved the rule then now they are allowed to use that gadget but still at certain sector still we are hearing that so many companies microsoft and all uh, the leading companies are also having this kind of rules they are not allowing the system to easily move about now the covid have taught them 
you should not say no to the digital advancement if you say no to this digital advancement definitely you will be technologically handicapped person and you will be out of the world and you will not you know uh, you will not be in the streamline of the as the digital era is moving on so you will be stopping at one point watching what people are doing all that stuff so if if you want to move along with the world you have to accept it so that's the only way that i could suggest my dear friends and my colleagues and faculty members so don't say no to technology that's the very 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 important message it's a take home message that i can share with you don't say no to technology if you say you will be out and out you will be standing alone somewhere else but people and the world will lead okay so in this picture you could see that people have not gathered at one place to work people are isolated they work from different different windows you could see i have put some different windows in this you are able to see my cursor here right every window is a representation of their isolation and how to coordinate and how to bring them into a collaborative work for the constructive development or constructive you know progress in a project it's a billion dollar question right so for that what we have to do so we need some soft skills we need some soft skills the skills on demand and these are all the essential skills are in demand right now right so to list with i just have 10 essential skills today and among all the 10 i'll just uh, go ahead with one or two maybe two or three um, skills today because to touch upon everything it takes a lot of time if you would like to learn all the 10 skills you know mark your calendar for the remaining webinars you have to come in future okay so you have emotional intelligence communication and storytelling time management service orientation must be there in all type of work that you do and you must have leadership skill the leadership a uh, leadership skills that you already possess so far is not suitable for the present situation now the leaders has to equip themselves for the forthcoming era no forthcoming this thing now come back to another five learnability flexibility actually to point we could say cognitive flexibility critical thinking and analysis creativity and innovation and complex problem solving If you look at these two slides the point is very clear no machine can feel the emotions no machine will be very good at communication and you know establishing a relationship with people when it comes to service if it if it comes to customer satisfaction even you have a bot chat, you know robo robo uh, uh, telecalling you know bot chat, chat box all this thing but still people are unable to you know they are not convinced with the word so you need to improve your communication i will touch upon that and time management you know earlier you go to office you work from 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock or maybe 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock right so there you are you know in a room or in a cabin you are focused on your work all that stuff but now the situation is not that you're not inside your office and you're not a tgs says by 2025 2025 you know by 2025 85 percentage of their own employees will be asked to work from home they don't want to keep them in office you know this move is taken by tps and cognizant so by 2025 you could have learned those things in a time a times of india newspaper about a couple of days before so they are every employee to adjust to work from home culture and service orientation must be there in leadership so look at this all this type of the skills essential skills that is in demand cannot be you know from the technology it is by the human so it is all all the 10 skills are turned as human skills we have to develop if not we then nothing no machines will come and do that machines can do repeated repeated work or monotonous work but critical thinking creativity all that stuff only human brain can do but we have not realized that so far we were doing a work which is repetitive a same and monotonous and we have not gone to creativity in every work and even the system which we are you know living in this world our institutions our companies have not let us to think creatively if you think creatively they don't accept it and first of all 
they say no to it they will ask you to focus on your work what is the time to you if you come up with a good solution one of few companies to say they are accepting innovation that too they will look into a position and your designation in their company in their institution but now the situation is not it's not going to be the same forever right so what i stressed upon is learnability many students and teachers you know we are in an institution educational institution we teach we learn you know there is a lot of things that you know a lot of learning activities are happening around in every institution across the globe but what i'm trying to say through learnability it is not the usual academic learning that what we learn so learning for knowledge is different from learning for skill so here this learnability you know it's talk about how you are able to achieve and you know equip yourself you are you know you have to have the skills to develop your personal employability that's what so many guys will stop learning as soon as they you know get the graduation or maybe post graduation or a phd level and when any new technology comes in when any new uh, changes comes into the system we definitely don't accept that first answer that we say is no and we say that youngsters can do we seniors are not familiar with the technology you know that's what people will say often you know it is a necessary it is necessary for all the age group all the level of you know in the hierarchy either you are a superior maybe a principal maybe a dean or a vice chancellor or ceo of a company or a labor maybe a, a very very basic level employee whoever you are if you don't have the learnability skill definitely you will be out of the box and you will not be in the system because the world is you know changing a lot and very faster the digital advancement and digital technology taking the world to a higher level so we have to understand that stuff so desire and ability to quickly grow and adapt one skills to remain employable throughout their working life if you learn at one stage and if you stop learning that's for your employability is a question mark you should not stop at any level so i let you know i'll just give clear idea about what i am trying to convey what is the learnability is about so learnability is have you ever thought of how do you identify identify and adapt to a emerging trends you know you could see now senior professors are available in this uh, webinar when they were students in a school level or maybe in a college level they even never thought of a word email and they never thought of a digital advancement like that and i myself have never used a, a cell phone till my college days and after college days only suddenly everywhere cell phone has come mobile technology advancement everything has come now i have quickly adapted to the new technology computer you know i learned privately with some books i have not gone to any of the institution to learn my education through digital advancement i learned my own you know by my own i started learning about gadgets you know android app development e learning content development programming in c c++ all that stuff can i say that I, my curriculum do not have all this thing therefore i, I do i don't want to learn anything new if i would have said an earlier stage on of my life today you will not see me on the screen now right so since i have adopted all the stuff earlier now i am able to connect with you you know i am in parallel i am in parallel learning you know i am able to connect with you students so teacher has to learn company employees and employer everybody has to learn so this picture says that you have to learn it's a kind of a skill and it must be a hobby the technology rapidly changes the world what we live today so i have a famous quotation quote in future but this is this you know this picture will help you to understand the gap between what we have to learn and what we are actually learning right look at the screen you will see what we are actually doing in our classroom right we are asked to learn new skills but we we have been in a situation not to adapt to the system we are finding a short route to bypass that and actually instead of learning the good things we have learned a lot of this thing you know infraction inside the classroom during the lecture hour you know if any examination is there to test the real skill whatever that we have learned we always seek this way 
and we don't listen to the system you know we don't adapt to the system i hope you will understand by seeing the slide you know how it is this is what we learned is this the one that we need definitely not this skill is not that essential you know we you know this actually says that if you have any supervisor in front of you your intention is to teach the supervisor if any class teacher is there to teach you you don't want to listen them because you you always think that you have alternative and then you are better than what the people are talking to you but now it's about virtual learning whatever you want to learn you have to learn for your survival if you want to cheat yourself if you want to continue the same definitely you will not be there in employable list my dear students and faculties and many outside participants this is another take home message today it is not about you know cheating somebody and earning much it is not about how good are your education it is how good good you are you know how you are employable when it comes for survival you must learn the skills that you are going to learn definitely will give you a progress and you will develop your skill through your school ungloda vaake engeyo pogum ninga enga learning stop pandrilo at once you stop your learnability that's all you will be ruled out from the progress so come back to the other slide uh, just think this people you know found a solution for what is happening inside the classroom this is one of the famous solution happened in karnataka you know they make uh, learnability at a good level they bring quality uh, education is that a right solution you just think about it you know making the students you know like this definitely you cannot stop them they will identify or find another chance to bypass all the rules my dear friends and my dear colleagues please look at the situation this is not the one that we have, we have to learn so when it comes to self learning and virtual learning see now the webinar is going on many guys will be keen on observing my words and the slides and somebody may switch on and go off right they just uh, leave the phone isolated and they go off somewhere they will not listen to what we are talking about now this is what your virtual learning you have to have a self discipline and you must have a self respect yourself what you are about to learn and what for you are learning please understand this point so this is not a right solution actually so if you want to reach a very good height in your life and your career you must look at this uh, famous word learnability is the key to stay relevant and succeed in the future in every industry be it the educational industry or a company or a product development company or a process or software solutions company whatever it may be a you have to learn you must be flexible you must adapt now at one stage as you know i heard many seniors even my own father when i argue with him when i teach him some good uh, new app how to use it through a mobile they say that my age is all gone after after, all, after learning all the stuff what i am going to do my age is already gone i am in a retirement like the people say then if you want to enjoy your retirement keep learning you will you know your life span is very short don't give up learning is always at the art it's a skill if you learn you will keep update and and you will have very good progress in your life and also you will have good passion and you have um, very good stuff in uh, you know guiding other people also so through that you will understand what is a uh, learnability and what is the prime goal of learnability learnability is to succeed in our life okay then learnability is a hungry mind you know uh, it's similar to hungry you know if you are hungry what happen after some time again you will get appetite again you will feed your stomach then after some times you will again will get hungry and then you will get, feel the appetite and you will feed your stomach right same way learnability is similar to that it's a hungry mind for present situation for the present scenario you learn something but that is not enough after some part of time again the appetite and the hungry will happen will be happening around you and you have to feed your brain if you don't feed your brain that's all survival is going to be a you know question mark so it's a hungry mind 
and there are three types of learnability and three types of learners some learners you know i've seen a lot of people at the bookshop uh, bookstall and bookshops they you know when when when, when exhibition comes a lot of crowds are there they will buy and it you know like a number of books i've seen a lot of people buying a lot of books at the uh, you know st george uh, a school when the book fair is happening you know when tamil nadu school ku pora apdi nee vaadi nina innikku ve indha maari varandu nindrukonga somebody can mute your mic so then i am able to proceed okay so learnability is about three stuff right they buy a lot of books but after all after buying the book it will be sleeping on the shelf now so many years they don't turn up right they keep it as it just for a, you know the prestige or maybe just to showcase that they are also learner they, they they are not actually really learner they want to buy but their passion is to learn <laughs> the point is their passion is to learn but at some point of time they lose their tendency to go along uh, okay so somebody uh interrupted okay sorry i think my screen is visible right now thank you now new comers are coming in they, they do not know how to join they are putting just to present okay okay now let's say, look at the last learner he is a low learner very intense desire to learn but somewhere along the line they lose their passion to learn and the second potential learner that means they have to learn for the survival of course their potential is there but education and personal development will lead to career success definitely but they are not coping they are not in a fast mood to learn they learn somewhat and then they stop after reading few pages or few chapters in a book they don't complete the book and they take excuses they get bored or maybe they they are not you know motivated to learn that so you have to need, you need to have a self motivation to complete the book you know lot of pages of turn but lot of unturned pages are there also in the same book look at the top level higher high level high level learner they have eager to learn and they are responsible for what they are learning and they also train themselves and develop their personal skills according to what they have learned it is not about only from books it's not about only from textbook or online e learning i am about to reveal what are all the different types of learnability available right now in the present society let's move on to the other one the famous uh, the sentence learnability helps individuals to cross over you know if you are a commerce guy if you are you can also learn what is healthcare market no way to say that i am not a biology student right even there is also a market if you are a biology student lot of stuffs are there in digital era in those days team you know if you go to hospital the patient's uh, a case study will be recorded in a paper nowadays many hospitals have changed that is your digital transcription so then any duty doctor can come in and attend the patient it is not that all the 24 hours the doctor must be there next to the patient you could see three doctors will uh, you know changes in a day and all the three doctors will continue the same medication what has been prescribed by the first one so they do all the analysis earlier it was only written material they keep this much of documents you know but nowadays it's not necessary every doctor will be updated about the patient's history and his medical history is diet everything so they need not spend time to look into again uh, from the first this experience would have been there with many of you guys when you visit a first doctor they will say list of uh, uh, the experiments or the uh, the studies that you have done the like x ray echo or anything if you go to the other doctor they will also again from the first they will list uh, what all the tests that you have to undergo but nowadays the situation is digitized you can get the digital copy of your history and can just share with the doctors before you get appointment so then doctor also will get all the idea about your you know present situation so that's for an example that i said so it is actually a crossover regardless their learning style their different personality type that is also involved in that then you have to learn you have to unlearn and you have to relearn the process is not only learn so the point is i learned something new today but the tomorrow the world is different i have to relearn something to relearn something whatever i learned already it is old one so i have to unlearn all these things and i have to adapt to the relearn if you are keeping the learned already in your mind 
it always says you know correlate with what you learned and what you are about to learn compare and lot of confusion is coming so you have to learn and you have to unlearn what you learned today to prepare for the tomorrow so that the scenario so knowledge is freely available by touch button so you can touch a button i'm giving you a lot of app which are available so if you touch you will get lot of information it's very easy anybody can say that you know in those days we will rush to the library but nowadays you are uh, answers you know you are mobile you are tablet you are tablet a lot of educational apps are available learnability is about acquiring abundance of knowledge just by sitting it's not just by sitting in front of a computer or a gadget it's not only that it is something else that i am going to reveal in the future slides please stay connected so this is what i would i would like to say it's a very famous quote eric offer have said once in a world of change the learners shall inherit in the earth while the learned shall find themselves perfectly suited for the world that no longer exists if i said i am a learned guy <laughs> i am suitable for the past world not for the present world if i am a learner i'll be alive and i'm ready for present situation and even for future that's what very very famous quote that okay so learnability is not about your qualification sir i have doctorate i have this many certificates this many e certificates all that stuff it's not only about your qualification it is how many different kind of problems that you undergone and it is about experience my dear colleagues and dear friends i would like to let you know one important thing people are saying that even in my curriculum you know nirmala madam uh, uh, quoted that i have uh, five years of industrial experience and 13 years of industry you know, teaching experience it doesn't mean that all the 13 years i taught the same lesson right i got different exposures different different exposures gives me lot of experience if i am teaching the same lesson for the past 13 years it doesn't mean that i have lot of experience so try say you have to push yourself on different criteria different kind of scenario different kind of unsolvable problems how many number of problems you face in during your course that sounds about and the quality of experience that you had to encounter a new problem every day you need a special critical thinking to solve the problem right that's all about your experience and there the learnability demand right and these are all seven steps that i am going to reveal you today learnability is you can enroll yourself in any community you know there are a lot of communities there are freedom of software community you know linux forum there are software development community there are people who work for management skills there are people who work for soft skills lot of communities are there you know if you are in a classroom or if you are uh, in a institution or in a company many of your friends are involved in different activities so how many different uh, communities that you are associated how many membership you have knowingly or unknowingly you will be informed about their activities every day and what all the things happening they will update you just by seeing their status you will come to know many things you know as you see in this webinar poster you come to know something is happening in crescent university and later you also enroll yourself if it is in traffic like way in such a way you have to enroll yourself in different community and through that also you are able to learn and you have to participate or else organize such kind of events a conference and a webinar a maybe a, a magazine you know whatever you have to participate or else if you are not tough enough to participate and if you have enough stuff to organize you could also come organizing is not that that you know everything you know when you gather you know people into one forum knowledge is coming into and then everybody can share their own perspectives you will learn faster than what you learn idly right so that's another and advancing knowledge and share ideas through any competition when you go for an exam it is not that uh, to test your skills you could also learn some questions from the question you will learn so many things you know after coming going to the exam when you come back you will start learning in that perspective that is also there you can participate in different competitions read observe measure and listen you have to measure the climate changes the recession right now hitting india very worse you can measure and estimate what the future would be and through that you will learn many things where to invest in share markets and how to you know think about your future planning for the future security insurance all that stuff you could learn 
and build wide network with a society as well as in the technology and if any new technology say comes into the society don't refuse it you know i could say one example today when credit card is introduced to this world lot of guys are got caught by the fraudulent call they shared otp because of that negative vibration spread everywhere people are advising other not to use you know credit card because credit card is very dangerous at one day your all balance will become zero like that the thing is they didn't learn how to protect themselves and their security and what about otp one time password the people who have lack of knowledge about one time password they reveal their things and then they got let me say one more information 85% of the people who got or affected by the fraudulent call have not stopped using credit cards instead they learned how to keep themselves very secure them through their experience only 15% because of the lack of understanding because of lack of learnability they stopped using the credit card system now debit card credit card online banking many people are saying that don't use the uh, gpay test paytm you know when it comes in uh, you know into the society they refuse all oh, these are all new way of cheating people but please try to learn how to be secure if you say then you have to touch the currency then corona will come right now digital banking digital india is the move taken by our prime minister modi ji and it is welcomed by everywhere now now the situation taught us how it is serious and what is the forecasting that he had in his mind look at this exposed to demanding situation you should not be sitting at one side don't allow others to participate in that you also come and pot is there and look into that and come back to the other one so i'll rush up my portions were very faster another uh, 25 minutes i'll complete this lecture um learnability is ability of acquiring knowledge efficient and effectively and it's not about only theoretical and practical it's all about how you are applying what you learn then come to the thing these are all the different platforms that you are able to learn so can somebody mute your mic ah thank you thank you thank you so much so these are all the different sector you know you could have four quadrants here you could so somebody mute your mic sorry sorry for this disturbance okay so you could learn content from different sources like web e learning is one process the other sector is through company documents and reports and performances and web sources and the next one is people by family friends you know from friends from uh, a mother from father from relative from brothers and the other sector is experience from working in sector you could have experience daily browsing and then when you do your work you will learn so many when you encounter a problem okay hello right to sir sir hello hello
Hello, sir. Your voice is not audible, sir. Hello. Ah, is my voice audible? Now it is my voice. Voice audible. Ah, yeah, yes, thank sir. you. So yes, sir. look at. Thank you, thank you. Only just some internet problem. Okay. So okay. we are learning for only for our exams. You know, look at the screen. You know, a teacher says that even as a teacher, as a faculty, we instruct our students where we can apply these stuff, whatever we learn. Instead of that, what we are saying is, it will be useful for your exams, right? Somebody started presenting their screen. I'm sorry. Sorry, uh, Ahmed. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. Kindly stop uh, sharing your screen. I am able to. Complete that in another 20 minutes. Only 20 minutes. Just please stay uh, connected. Somebody. Okay. Now it's visible. Okay. Now it's visible. I guess. Visible? Yeah. So we, as a teacher, we instruct the students. This will be helpful for the next test or maybe exams. It will be helpful for exams. It is not helpful for only exams. It is helpful for our, you know, entire life. You could apply the algebra anywhere. It's not only for algebra. I just rush up and skip some portions. So we have to choose something what to learn. We are thinking about only the traditional learning, engineering, healthcare, politics, or economics. But it is not about that. It is beyond that. You have to learn. This is actually a basic thing. Beyond that, you have to know how to network with people. The future is augmentation. I come again, it is not automation, it is augmentation. Look at this picture. Augmentation is working with humans and working with machines. It is a collaboration of both. It is not only about you work with people. It is about you work with people as well as robots, robots and gadgets and machinery. That's why. So to deal with machines and to deal with people, you have to deal with you know, everybody. That is what is called augmentation. When people say automation, you will get, uh, you know, you will not get job like that. It is not about losing your job. It is about equipping yourself, right? So look at this famous quote, another quote. Human soft skills include training, learnability, demand, you know, the list I already shared with you. Now, another important thing is, you know, in a learnability, I have shown you the different platforms. Look at this picture. These are all different platforms. Many know YouTube, Google, LinkedIn, Zoom, Slack, all that stuff. If anybody want to, uh, you know, want this kind of uh, PPT for your um, uh, personal references, I will share at the end of the session. So this is the prime one that all know. But we have about 200 plus gadgets available in the market, and there are a lot of free learning websites. You need not pay for it. Lot of free learning websites are available. So many guys know Coursera. Somebody know Udemy. Somebody knows Slack, somebody knows, you know, Instagram, Cisco, Bax. Lot of platforms are there, many, many free e-learning content available. Just by clicking your mobile phone, you are able to learn many things. And many guys do know what is TEDx, you know, TED, Technical Entertainment Design, many. So this is a very informative. To talk about every gadget, it takes about two days. So let's skip that. I'll just share the screen for your future references. Come back to this thing. You know, uh, what we have to learn now to learn with machineries and to learn, you know, to work with machineries and human beings, you must know how to communicate with them first. It is not about ordinary communication. Now I am able to communicate with you through this media. So my language, the language that I use here must be understood by many guys. It should not be a vernacular, it should not be a, a region oriented, it should be a common language. And it is not only communicating with people. You have to communicate with machines and gadgets. With your instruction, it is going to respond. So the very famous thing that you have to learn is storytelling. Right? If I want to teach you something through this webinar, if I am just narrating as similar to the class that I am taking in a classroom, many guys will switch off your phone and then they will go. Look at my inspiration. Look at the you know, evocation that bring into the concept. Over what they uchari to more than the uchari play on the life of Kondo and Lia, the evocation. And correct terminology, brevity. Yenna Varti and Obey Padithi will allow attention Kondo. 
நூறு வார்த்தையை பேசுறத ஒரு வார்த்தையில எல்லாத்தையும் சுருங்க புரிய வைக்கலாம் இல்லையா இதுதான் அந்த ஸ்டோரி டெல்லிங் ஐ மீன் டெல் யூ வாட் ஆர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஆஸ்பெக்ட் ஆஃப் ஸ்டோரி டெல்லிங் இன் ஃபியூச்சர் ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் லுக் அட் த ஸ்டோரி டெல்லிங் வில் ஹாவ் கிரியேட்டிவிட்டி ஒரே கதையை பத்து பேருக்கு சொன்னாலும் பத்து பேர் அந்த கதையை சொல்லும் போது அவங்கவுங்களுக்கு ஒரு ஸ்டைல் இருக்கும் எத்தனையோ மேடை பேச்ச பாத்துருப்பீங்க எத்தனையோ இந்த மாதிரி பப்ளிக் ஸ்பீக்கரை பாத்துருப்பீங்க இவ்வளவு சீன் மெனி பப்ளிக் ஸ்பீக்கர் சாஃப்ட் ஸ்கில் ட்ரைனர்ஸ் மெனி ஹெட்ஸ் பட் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஹாவ் தேர் ஆன் கிரியேட்டிவிட்டி இன் த ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் ரைட் ஈவன் இந்த ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் தட் வாட் ஐ எம் ப்ரெசன்டிங் இன் பிரிண்ட் ஆஃப் யூ ஹாவ் சம் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கிரியேட்டிவிட்டி அண்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டூல்ஸ் தட் ஐ யூஸ் டு பிரிங் ஆல் த கான்செப்ட் யூ ஆர் ரைட் If the same topic has been taught by some other, they will use different variety and different concepts. So, human skills will be vital for success, storytelling. No machine can say a story. Only human being can say a story. Because creativity. Just I quickly rush up on. And these are all the essential skills for storytelling. Every story you must keep a suspense. If there is no suspense in the story, nobody will come into the tip of the chat. அந்த சாரோட நுனியில வந்து கேட்க அந்த சுவாரஸ்யம் இருக்கு அதுதான் அதோட எசன்ஸ் இவோகேஷன் நீங்க ஒவ்வொரு வார்த்தையிலையும் அந்த உணர்வுகளை எப்படி வெளிப்படுத்துறீங்க அந்த கனெக்ஷனை கொண்டு வரணும் இல்லாம ஒரு ஸ்டோரி சொன்னீங்கன்னா தூங்கிடுவாங்க And correct timing will be told in the right timing. If you say that, you will be able to get the information from the right time. Then brevity and empathy. If you say that, 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 the situation or the emotions that they have to feel, that is called empathy. And you have to share some knowledge through that story. And also have rigor. There will be some failures, but don't give up. Again, try your next story, telling habits. and there must be some emotional intelligence and marketing skills you have to convince the people through a story right what are the point that you would like to tell them so i just uh, go on to that so where are you are going to tell the story your story will be in a digital media in a block spot 1600 words are permitted adukulla solla therino tweets porradha anda 100 var 100 eduthukulla solla therino facebook la edho 40 character la solla therinja better நீங்க வள வளர்ந்து நிறைய பேஸ்புக் எழுதுறாங்க அதுல நிறைய பேர் எத்தனை பேர் அந்த போஸ்டிங் பாக்குறாங்கன்னு தெரியல நிறைய பேர் ஒரு மணி நேரம் ரெண்டு மணி நேரம் போறாங்க பட் த்ரீ மினிட் வீடியோ தான் ரொம்ப பார்ப்பு ரொம்ப பேரை ரீச் பண்ணும் அண்ட் பாட்காஸ்ட் ரொம்ப நல்ல லேர்னிங் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் எல்லா லேர்னிங்கும் வித் இன் பிப்டீன் மினிட்ஸ்ல சின்ன சின்ன விஷயம் சொல்றாங்க வெபினார் தான் இட்ஸ் அபவுட் ஒன் ஹவர் டு ஒன் அண்ட் ஆஃப் ஹவர்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மீடியா ஸோ ப்ரொஃபஷனல் கம்யூனிகேஷன் மஸ்ட் பி லேர்ன் these are all the vital thing because you have to write you know have to present the audio video visual effect all these things these are all communication and i let just move on to the other one so are we ready uh, for the future so i have taught you two skills learnability and storytelling communication is very very important right so another thing is work from home in work from home culture you don't have a stipulated time you know time frame with that you could work for your office no no you have to manage your house your relationship you have to manage your uh, kids and you have to look into everything there is no stipulated time frame but you have to work all the things for that you need a time management right how to manage your timing for your work from home culture so when you feel tired you can take rest if you feel fresh you can work all that what you have to do is you have to complete the project so put a target and put a fix a deadline and also manage your timing how you are able to manage it is not about all the time you go to office you will be asked to work from home so you have to work look at this you will see how people are can anyone guess what is bhk and bohk through chat you can give your answer so then i am able to uh, see you guys can give your answers the chat what is bohk and what is bhk office very good correct answer bedroom hall kitchen that's what we say you know when we go for a home you know rent house we all go for this thing but in future everybody must have a small office room in your houses you need some privacy to to work to the work if you are in a common place definitely you will encounter this problem you know you have to monitor your children all these things but stuff you have to adapt yourself 
to the situation. Then the future, so what? The future is about collaboration. Competent work will be taken care by the humanoids and robots, or maybe automation. Right? Enter, give away, packing, put away, delivery, put away. It all may in future will be delivered by humanoids and robots. Critical thinking, problem solving, storytelling, communication. The world is looking for talent. So as for it's a war for talent. It's a war for talent. And if you have a very good talent, you have attractive retaining 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 talent is becoming increasing. Any company. to retain you in the company it is very tough because your talent is beyond their scope you could give the service to other sectors so you could be a freelancer in many western countries freelancer websites and freelancer guys are you know earning more than the regular guys who are working in office right so you have to think broad ungalaoda staff ungalku matte or company ku matte illa company eppo vandalo avangalukku theriyana vishayangala kodutha adutha project ku povanga ஒரு கம்பெனில நிரந்தரமான வேலை அப்படிங்கறது ஃபியூச்சர் இல்ல தயவுசெய்து புரிஞ்சீங்க உங்களோட திறமை பல கம்பெனிக்கு தேவைப்படுது முன்னாடி நான் சொன்ன மாதிரி ஒரு கம்பெனிக்கு போகும்போது லேப்டாப் எடுத்துட்டு வரக்கூடாதுன்னு சொன்னாருன்னா அன்னைக்கு இருந்த செக்யூரிட்டி இஷ்யூ பட் இன்னைக்கு பிளாக் சைட் ஒரு பெரிய செக்யூரிட்டி சைபர் செக்யூரிட்டி வந்துருச்சு யூ வில் பி ஒர்க்கிங் வித் கிளவுட் கம்ப்யூட்டர் நீங்க உங்களுக்கு பர்சனல் கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஆன் பண்ணலாம் பட் யூ கேன் ஸ்டீல் எனி ஆஃப் டாக்குமெண்ட் ஆஃப் யூர் ஆஃபீஸ் ரைட் and all the like blockchain and cyber security is very strong any person can work for any company you cannot keep the data and facebook workplace father being anagira yaar all facebook poringla you could join workplace workplace nu varum endha solranga endha company varnalo or edathula vande enga irundhu remotely work panna mudiyum ore project ore table la vechi 10 per epdi unga office la work panninglo same thing can be done in workplace ore table la or paper vechi 10 per and paper annotate pannala write and la improve and la quality and la that's what facebook so on the facebook workplace so this is what i'm going to tell you so in future according to the survey 84% organization will be in the process of upskilling their workplaces workforce ella employees ko adutha technology solli kudutavano yaar la kattuka mudiyadhe enak and skill varadhu nu solraangala avanga la and company vittu veliyera vendiya sunna la varum unemployability ulagam fulla irukku nu nareya per solraanga நான் அக்ரி பண்ணவே மாட்டேன் எல்லாருமே ஒரு வேலை ஆட்டோமேஷன் பண்ண முடியும் அப்படிங்கிற வேலையை மட்டும் தெரிஞ்சு வச்சிருக்காங்க ஒரு எக்ஸாம்பிள் கார்பெண்டர் கார்பெண்டரோட ஒர்க்க வந்து ஒரு ரோபா இன்னைக்கு பண்ண முடியும் ஒரு மெயில டெலிவரி பண்றதுக்கு இன்னைக்கு இமெயில் வந்துருச்சு இன்னைக்கு போஸ்ட்மேன் தேவையில்லை கொரியர் தேவையில்லை அது என்ன டெய்லி கலெக்ட் பண்ணி அந்த மெயில் எடுத்து போய் டோர் டெலிவரி கொடுக்கறது ஒரு ஹியூமன் அவரோட ரிசோர்ஸ் வேஸ்ட் பட் டுடே யூ ஆர் கெட்டிங் அ லாட் ஆஃப் இம்ப்ரூவ்மெண்ட் அவரோட ஹியூமன் ரிசோர்ஸ் தே கேன் யூஸ் இன் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டே ஸோ தென் லுக் அட் தட் இப்போ இந்த கல்ச்சரை நம்ம அடாப்ட் பண்றதுக்கு வி நூட் டு ஹாவ் எமோஷனல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் டு பேலன்ஸ் போத் ரைட் ஸோ இட்ஸ் அ வெரி பிக் டாபிக் and then i'll just move on to a small story and then i'll conclude this is about creativity right how creative that innovation is bringing new things creativity is connecting all the new things into a another gadget so this is a art so from that any every you know everyone know tree but now you are able to see the face that is called creativity and what are all the job sector will will transform drivers they have to look for other different types of skills because automated cars and e vehicles will come machine operators automated machines will come you have to look for other upgrading skills retail shops no more retail shops only online shops will be there down the line in 10 years in ik more market la gumbala poda quarantine vandrona ella distancing social distancing rush rendu manara avu or takkali vanda rendu manara more market la nikiram but in tomorrow world even vegetable if you buy with then 20 minutes it will reach your walk and you need not panic about all the health issues transportation department will change common transportation will grow cinema theater will it will come through your youtube or else amazon uh, prime video all that stuff such a kind of many things will come tv channels will go off please understand நிறைய பேர் டிவி ஆன் பண்ணிட்டு மொபைல் எல்லாம் நோடிட்டு இருக்கோம் மொபைல் இருக்கிற வீடியோ 
ஹலோ டிஜிட்டல் பேப்பர் படிக்க ஆரம்பிச்சோம் நியூஸ் பேப்பர் அந்த அந்த பிரிண்டிங் செக்டார்ல ஒர்க் பண்ற எல்லாருக்குமே ஜாப் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபர்மேஷன் நடக்க போகுது தென் கார்பெண்டர் தென் டீச்சர்ஸ் சாக்கப்பட்டுதான் பாடம் நடத்த தெரியும் சொல்லிட்டு இருந்தீங்கன்னா நீங்க அவ்வளவுதான் இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் டோன்ட் வாண்ட் தட் இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் ஃபார் இ கான்டென்ட் டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் டூல் டெவலப்மெண்ட் உங்களுடைய கிரியேட்டிவிட்டியான ஸ்மால் ஸ்மால் மைக்ரோ அண்ட் நானோ வீடியோஸ் சின்ன விஷயம் சுருங்க சொல்லி புரிய வைக்கணும் ஆன்லைன் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் இவாலுவேஷனுக்கு நீங்க எவ்வளவு ஓட தேவையில்லை இனிமே இவாலுவேஷன் ப்ராசஸ் நீங்க போக வேண்டிய இல்லை டவுன் த லைன் நீங்க டென் இயர்ஸ்ல பாருங்க எவ்ரி இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் வில் ஹாவ் ஆன்லைன் இவாலுவேஷன் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் எக்ஸாம் முடிஞ்ச ரெண்டு மணி நேரத்துல ரிசல்ட் கொடுக்க முடியும் this is a famous story of that i hope uh, you are able to see that so this person is actually not thinking about his security then later he got another idea to keep a safety ladder and cutting and this is also not good now look at this third approach you know he is safe but he is not talking about the few thinking about the future right so this is the uh, critical thinking you know it's lacking in this person he want to you know solve a problem but the solutions are many but he is not thinking about his future he is he is found a future but he is do not know how to implement and he also found uh, its stability but do not know how to go about so what is about critical thinking analyze reason evaluate and validate and finally conclude when you go with this process you are able to complete so i'll just uh, st- share a small story with that i am concluding so the story is about you know an emperor who want to test the skills of their ministers who which minister is very capable of so he just gave a so you know problem to them he wa- he brought a elephant to the uh, palace and he asked that uh, uh, ministers to uh, estimate the weight of the elephant there were no balancing system you know no digital or uh, weighing system those days to measure the weight of an elephant right is my voice audible can anyone guess uh, give your answers okay yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. now what happened all ministers have accepted that this one and then they went to think about what to do then right so they were blaming one minister who is actually known to be clever in past days they said he is not fit for uh, ministers so that's the reason the king has actually announced the skill test so everybody was uh, you know uh, uh, do not have any solution to proceed but out of one the ministers who were known to be a very clever that guy got an idea so he made the elephant to step into the boat and after that he just moved the boat into the deep uh, side of a lake then he marked how much immersion is there water level later he removed that elephant and he placed some grain uh, uh, these bags and he just uh, keep on adding these bags until the, he get the same marking on the boat so finally what he did he calculate that one bag is equal to 100 kg therefore 40 bags is equal to an elephant therefore it is about 4 ton right so this is what is called critical thinking if you do not know what to do next you have to think on out of box way right so that's the final note of my lecture so with that i conclude i hope my session was very useful to you and a uh, lot of informations i have shared today basically about learnability and also about storytelling and communication with people and these are all the soft skills that are essential remaining 8 and 9 uh, soft skills are essential you could follow me through my facebook or this thing for remaining soft skill training in this uh, juncture i would like to thank all the organizing committee of uh, crescent university all the department heads dean academics dean for social science studies and humanities and uh, dr nirmala madam for hosting this and dr uh, kokila madam and dr radhika madam and uh, dr daud sir uh, dean uh, for all of them and all of the participants to stay connected till the end of my lecture for all the 1 hour 20 minutes thank you
uh, your session was very wonderful. You were there explaining about the ten essential skills on demand. That is called as human skills, learnability, how we have to have hungry mind, the types of learnability, the seven tips on developing learnability, how knowledge and ability are important, uh, the communication skills, how BHK changes to BOHK hereafter after the COVID situation. Time management is very important, as you said. Uh, you were touching about the emotional intelligence, how we have to transform and uh, on creativity, innovation, and create critical thinking. The session was very nice, sir. It was wonderful. Uh, now, I request Dr. Kokila to extend vote of thanks. Good morning, everyone. Ma'am, I am audible, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Good morning, yes. everyone. I am honored to have the opportunity to give a vote of thanks on this special day on behalf of School of Social Science and Humanities, B.S. Abdul Rahman, Crescent Institute of Science and Technology. First of all, I would like to propose a wholehearted thanks to our chief guest, Dr. Titus Samuel Sudhindraraj, for gracing today's webinar. Where he mentioned all the essential chunks of, of skills that are required to develop by us in the post COVID situation. Important message that are noted from your presentation is to be unemployable throughout our working life, we have the desire and ability to adopt the skill quickly that are required for our survival in this present era. The way in which he explained the above said statement with the theme of the webinar was extraordinary. You are really enlightened with your knowledge and presence. I'm sure that all the participants have benefit out of this. Thank you, sir, for your interesting and thought-provoking address. A special thanks to our, ma to our management for their unflinching support and coordination. I deem it an honor to express our deep gratitude to our dean, Dr. Ayub Khan Daud, for his moral support and guidance. I would like to thank the coordinator of this event, Dr. Radhika Meghanathan, for making this webinar a grand success. Our heartfelt thanks to our learned members for their active participation. A special thanks to who all helped us in making this webinar such a resounding success. Once again, I thank you all for your cordial cooperation. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Dear participants, if you want to ask any uh, or you need to clarify, you you can unmute yourself and you can ask. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Dear participants, if you want to clarify some, something or anything, you can unmute yourself and you can ask. Or you can leave your question in the chat box. Sir, one that is one question, okay. sir. Can emotional. you please explain me on emotional intelligence with one example? Okay. Emotional intelligence is a kind of a soft skill. You know, you have, you must have a control of your own emotions. Let me say a small example. Uh, say, for example, in any of a company, let's say a CEO of a company, he got moved out from a house. He got some quarrel at home, right? When he comes to the workplace with the same mood and uh, with a, you know, like grin, you know, like he is not uh, very rude. Throughout the day, progress project interact personal things Example field workplace junior senior our viceless senior and all, you higher position. You have a age, uh, you know, problem. Every time you have some difficulty. So, how to present yourself? How to get the work done by them? Right? So, that's a difficulty. You have personal things that should not come out in the public media. You have a learnability. The personal review, your personal estimation, your personal estimation, your personal estimation, that person will physically, mentally become an ill person. That person will become an ill person. 
இப்போ நீங்க உங்களுடைய எமோஷன்ஸை இங்க கண்ட்ரோல் பண்ணணும் ரைட் ஸோ இங்க எமோஷனல் கண்ட்ரோல் பண்றது நேரில் பார்த்து ஒரு ஆளுக்கு வேலை சொல்லி வேலை வாங்குறதே பெரிய விஷயம் இப்போ இனிமே வெர்ச்சுவலா சொல்லி த்ரூ ஃபோன் காலில் நிறைய பேருக்கு இப்போ நான் இங்கிலீஷ்ல பேசுறத விட தமிழ்ல பேசும்போது நிறைய புரியும் நினைக்கிறேன் ஏன்னா உங்களோட நேட்டிவ் லாங்குவேஜ் இது பட் இப்போ இந்தியா ஃபுல்லா ஒர்க் பண்ணி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் பீப்புள் இருக்காங்கன்னா அங்கே கண்டிப்பாக இங்கிலீஷ் பேசணும் இல்லையா நான் பேசுற இங்கிலீஷு தமிழ்நாட்டில் இருக்கிறவங்களுக்கு மட்டும் புரியுற இங்கிலீஷாவும் நார்த் இந்தியாவில் இருக்கிற மக்களுக்கு புரியாத மாதிரியும் இருந்து அவங்க யூஸ் பண்ற டெர்மினாலஜி மாறிடுச்சுன்னா அப்போ கம்யூனிகேஷன் பிகம் அ சேலஞ்ச் இப்போ இங்கே என்ன எமோஷனல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் தேவைப்படுதுன்னா நான் ஒன்று சொல்லியிருப்பேன் ஃபோனில் இல்லை இமெயிலில் அவங்க கம்ப்ளீட் பண்ணுற ப்ராஜெக்ட் வேறையா இருக்கும் அப்போ அதை பார்த்த உடனே இந்த ப்ராஜெக்ட் ரிப்போர்ட்டையும் அந்த கம்ப்ளீஷன் ரிப்போர்ட் பார்த்த உடனே எனக்கு எப்படி இருக்கும் இரிட்டேஷன் வரும் உடனே நான் அவங்களுக்கு டெக்ஸ்ட் பண்ணுவேன் ரொம்ப ஹார்ஷாக டெக்ஸ்ட் பண்ணுவேன் நான் போடுற ஒவ்வொரு வார்த்தையும் அவங்கள ஹர்ட் பண்ணும் ஒன்ஸ் அவங்க எம்ப்ளாயி ஹர்ட் ஆயிட்டாங்கன்னா ப்ராஜெக்ட் நீங்க நினைக்கிற வேகத்துல போகாது ஏற்கனவே போனதை விட இன்னும் ஆம வேகத்துல போகும் அப்ப இங்க எமோஷனல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ்ங்கிறதோட கீ ரோல் நீங்க புரிஞ்சுக்கணும் அவரை மோட்டிவேட்டும் பண்ணணும் அவரோட மிஸ்டேக்ஸ வந்து பாலிஷ்டா சொல்லவும் தெரியணும் உங்களுடைய பர்சனலா அந்த எமோஷன்ஸை கண்ட்ரோல் பண்ண தெரியணும் அமிக்கபிளான வார்த்தையால நீங்க அவர்கிட்ட வேலை வாங்க தெரியணும் இதை மேனேஜ் பண்றது பேர் தான் எமோஷனல் ஸ்கில்ஸ் இப்ப இதுக்கு என்னெல்லாம்னா இதுக்கு நிறைய கிரைடீரியா இருக்கு எம்பத்தி யூனோ டேக்கிங் த பர்சன்ஸ் அவங்க ஆங்கிள் இருந்து யோசிக்கணும் அவங்க கிட்ட இருந்து அப்சர்வ் பண்ணணும் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கேட்கறதுக்கு ரெடியா இருக்கணும் பேசுறதுக்கு முதல்ல பேசக்கூடாது அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பண்ணணும் என்னன்னா வி ஷுட் நாட் லிசன் டு ஆன்சர் தேர் கொஸ்டின் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வி ஹாவ் டு லிசன் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தேர் ப்ராப்ளம் ரெண்டுத்துக்கும் வித்தியாசம் இருக்கு இப்ப நீங்க கேள்வி கேட்கும் போது கூட நான் அமைதியா இருந்தேன் என்ன சொல்ல வரீங்கன்னு நீங்க சொல்றதுக்குள்ள நான் ஆன்சர் பண்ண முழுப்பட்டுடா நீங்க கேட்கற கேள்வி என்னன்னு எனக்கு புரியாம போயிடும் நான் சொல்றது புரியுதா ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நான் என்ன செய்யறேன்னா நீங்க என்ன கேட்க விரும்புறீங்கிறத புரிஞ்சிக்க முயற்சி செய்யறேன் புரிஞ்சிக்கிட்ட பிறகுதான் என்னால் நல்ல ஆன்சர் கொடுக்க முடியும் என்னோட இன்டென்ஷன் ஏதாவது ஒரு பதில் சொல்லணும் பதில் சொல்லணுன்ற மாதிரி இருந்தா கேட்கற கேள்வியை அது புரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்கு முன்னாடியே பதில நான் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணியிருப்பேன் ஸோ இங்க தான் என்னோட எமோஷன் ஸோ நான் பேஷண்டா இருக்கணும் என்னோட கோபம் என்னோட அனுதாபம் எல்லாத்தையும் என்னால் மேனேஜ் பண்ண தெரியணும் இப்போ ஒரு துக்க நிகழ்ச்சிக்கு போறீங்க ஒருத்தருக்கு ஆறுதல் சொல்றீங்கன்னா அவரோட சேர்ந்து நாமளும் அழகு பேர் எமோஷனல் இன்டெலிஜென்ட் இல்லை அவரோட எமோஷன்ஸையும் கண்ட்ரோல் பண்ணி உங்க எமோஷன்ஸையும் கண்ட்ரோல் பண்ணி அவரை அந்த ஒரு மென்டல் சிக்னஸ்ல இருந்து வெளியில கொண்டு வரதுக்கு நீங்க என்ன பாத் கிரியேட் பண்ணி தரீங்க இதுதான் அந்த எமோஷனல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் ஒரு லீடருக்கு இந்த எமோஷனல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் ரொம்ப தேவை இஃப் யூ வுட் லைக் டு நோ மோர் அபவுட் எமோஷனல் ஸ்கில்ஸ் you could follow my facebook and a twitter there is a link already my lecture is available you could also watch i'll also share that in future thank you thank you thank you sir thank you sir any any other questions yeah, hello uh, good morning sir good morning uh, uh, good morning myself dr nasir and okay. a very good morning to you and all participants uh, it was a uh, wonderful experience to hear you uh, really it was a nice session uh one question i am having uh because uh, you have talked about em- emotional intelligence and these two words are somehow related to emotional intelligence like uh, sympathy and empathy so can you uh, give an example of sympathy and empathy so that okay. uh, i will become more clear okay sympathy is all about you know you are looking at with the mercy and you are pitiful you know you are thinking about the sorrowful person or a person who undergo a very bad situation in their life and uh, having a merciful mind you are just giving them some help that's all you are leaving that sympathy anybody can do you know when you see a beggar or any person who are poor enough who are suffering you just go to them and then ask them something and just give some remedy that's all you are not with them but empathy is looking into their perspectives watching with their with their eyes not your own eyes your perspective is different you know you have to look into the higher situation when you go into that situation you are able to understand if you are in that situation you are able to find a solution for the situation that is what is called empathy say for example i'll just give a small story or or uh, if you are a, a north indian or any other language i'll strictly speak in english so in a company yes sir i am not indian sir <laughs> okay then i'll speak in hindi okay english okay right english okay sir okay yeah, please in a company employee want you know somewhat incentive in their um, uh, salary they want perks extra perks so company have not allotted for 2 3 years therefore every employee started you know planning to get a, a stage strike 
they all planned for a strike now the gm has come and speak to him speak to them the situation of the company is recession we are unable to give you more if he directly say to that definitely it will agitate more and the the people will go for a uh, more uh, strike and the functioning of the uh, in a company will slow down and they will not able to generate more money more revenue instead of that what the gm has done is he gone to the situation he met a employee first he listened to them they were asking you know incentive perks and all he said yes i am able to give you perks this time this is what is that looking at that you know they are also having life they also need some you know uh, encouragement for their work so he said he never said no to them he said yes to them that i am going to implement later he said if you all go and take a strike that means the strike will be captured by media and next day newspaper our company will come that people have staged the strike so if i want to give you money i have to approach loan because our company is in loss when i go to a banker the banker say no because you know why because the company is striking employees are not working it's a non progressing company how can i give you a loan so he gone to the situation and explain about what they can do if they are striking they will lose their job so he said that to the employee then employee realized that we have to listen to the gm now after you know convincing them with their own perspective you know their perspective is perks of course it is needed but there is some insecurity just go back to uh, once one just a minute this also give you some more insight about uh, the empathy just look at this uh, screen uh, i'll just give you this example this is all about empathy only people want to solve the problem right look at this picture i'm hope uh, you are able to see they want to yes, solve yes, the problem yes. they are not thinking about what next no when somebody gives a solution to them like a ladder they do not know where to use the solution mm, right yes. so this is where your empathy is involving you also look into the you know this is a disturbing problem when you go and come this branch is disturbing of course you understand and you are giving the solution but the employee is not able to understand is this a correct solution solution is there but unable to implement it and if you want to educate this guy who is in trouble we have to look into the situation how this branch is disturbing him he is not looking at the you know his safety future insurance all that stuff he is taking so many risks so to make him understand first you have to understand why this branch is disturbing him and what are all the different causes that he could come out but sympathy is when you look at this guy you know the first guy oh he is uh, oh my god this guy is not safe that's all you are moving on moving on your own way you are not going and helping the guy someone help the guy by just giving a ladder but still this guy is not realizing so correct sympathy is just having a mercy on them and just giving some solution but empathy is be with them try to give the ladder back to them to let them come down from the critical situation i hope my answer is good and you are able to understand sir yes sir yes sir clear clear sir thank you thank you sir thank you Any Thank other you, question? Sir. Any other question? One feedback. More question. Feedback. Sir, feedback. one more question. Yeah, please, madam. Go sir. ahead. Please go sir, ahead. Sir, one more question, sir. Please. Sir. From Vijay Shadipian, can you suggest us from where can I take emotional intelligence training course? Okay, there are a lot of emotional intelligence skills from uh, TEDx videos, TED videos, and lot of skills are available in YouTube. and also a lot of platforms as i shared in a uh, i'll just share my ppt it is a bunch of uh, information go to that you have lot of apps available from home itself you could and one more thing emotional intelligence is not about learning it is about practicing right you learn something but you have to practice let's say say, say for an example uh, the emotional intelligence that i undergone uh my my grandfather you know myself and my grandfather had a very good good relationship you know i have very thick relationship we are emotionally bonded and once when my grandfather you know fell sick and he passed away I, by the time i was working in a polytechnic college i was taking a class what is about it's about uh, you know that uh, lomi's theorem concurrent forces and lomi's theorem that was the portion that i was talking taking in the class and suddenly one pune has come 
an attender he was informing me calling me out of the class and said your grandpa passed away so what a way that i controlled actually suddenly some tears has come on my eyes then i managed the situation i wiped off i didn't show my sorrow and pitiful situation to the students i went into the classroom again i completed the portion after 20 minutes of completion after that i came out of the class and gone if i immediately rush out from the class what happen chaotic situation will come and every student in the classroom will felt sorrow and what happened throughout the learning process throughout the uh, day that means it had happened by 11 o'clock if i disturb their mindset it is very tough enough for them to come back from the mindset because sars grandfather passed away with that mode they will lose their listening skills and ability to watch so if i show that my sorrow to that students that will disturb the environment so i manage my situation and later on when any sad news come to me i am not taking into a heart instead of that i am trying to solve the problem this is a one of the best example that i can give you to have a very good emotional intelligence try to be in different situation and if meet different people associate with different people try to take part in other people's critical situation and try to be with them and find a critical solution for them then in that way you are able to think about your emotional skills and you are able to come up with a good training so it is all about your practice i think i am able to give you best answer thank you sir thank you. any other questions dear participants any other questions a feedback form will be shared with the whatsapp group i think uh, mr karthik i congratulate karthik for organizing this wonderful event technical support he is taking care of all the techniques he will be sharing the uh, feedback form in the uh, in the whatsapp group so through that you could just give us a feedback we are expecting your feedback based on your feedback we will improve our sessions in the future thank you participants thank you sir already the feedback form was shared in the chat box sir ah okay okay i think uh, already shared you can go to that link and uh, get back i think uh, it is about uh, uh, 10 okay 11 o'clock it is shared it seems you can post it one more time i just i will post one more time i think it is not been shared madam no sir we could find it sir ah okay you just uh, uh, share with the people also madam they can give their feedback uh, okay, that's sir. it from my side okay any other no more questions sir in the chat box okay we can conclude now okay. yes sir okay, sir thank you thank you sir thank you nirmala ma'am kogila ma'am rathika ma'am Uh, thank you radhika ma'am radhika ma'am thank you so much for coordinating the session thank you, thank, you, thank you so much thank you tiger sir thank you everyone can we wait up the session ma'am oh, okay ma'am thank, uh, ma thank, thank you ma'am thank you all ma'am thank you all okay, okay. thank you sir thank you okay, all okay welcome yes ma'am thank you nasa sir thank you ma'am yes sir thank you kokila ma'am kokila ma'am